Hey guys, welcome back to another lesson in my beginner piano course level one. If you enjoy these videos, don't forget to subscribe and give the video a thumbs up. In this lesson, we're going to talk about the basic pulse in music and note values. In order to do anything with rhythms, read rhythms and play rhythms, we have to understand what the pulse is. The pulse in music is a constant beating, just like your heartbeat, something that stays very even all the way through and very continuous. So if you think of your counting, like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, something that goes on continuously and evenly is called a pulse. The pulse can be fast, it can be slow, it can be medium speed. As long as it stays the same speed, it's an even pulse and we can use that pulse for rhythms and counting. Rhythms are created by mixing notes of the same and different values, so mixing long and short notes. And the note values in music are decided by the shape of a note. So how a note looks is going to tell us how long it is compared to other note values. Note values are defined by using beats or counts, and these beats have to be steady just like the pulse. Now, it is very important to note that note values are not absolute values, so we can't say that a quarter note is one second and a minimum is always two seconds or a half note. Instead, they are relative values, so they only tell us how long one note is in relation to the pulse or in relation to another note value. While a crotchet or quarter note is always one count long, the pulse can go faster or slower, making that quarter note seem much longer or slower. If a half note or minim is two counts long, then it's always going to be twice as long as a quarter note or crotchet independently of the speed of the pulse. So whether you're playing the beats very fast or very slow, a minim is always going to be twice as long as a crotchet because a minimum is two beats and the crotchet is one beat. And this is what you need to understand about note values and how they are relative to each other and not absolute values. In this lesson, we're going to have a look at three note values, the three most basic ones. Now, the first one is going to be called the quarter note or crotchet in Britain. A quarter note in American, there's always two names for these terms and I'm going to use them all the time. So wherever you are watching this from, you can understand it. A quarter note is a little note head, which is black inside, filled in, and it has a little stem going up. We call that little line a stem. And when you see this note value, it's always going to be one count long or one beat long. The second note value is going to be the half note or minim in British English. And this one looks just like the crotchet or quarter note, but it's white inside empty instead of a black filled in note head. So they look identical, but one is black, one is white inside, and this one is going to be two counts long or two beats long. The third note value is going to be the whole note or semi-brief in British English. And this one is just an empty circle. So it looks just like the minim or half note, but without the stem. And this is going to be four counts long or four beats long. Beats and counts are the same thing. So what that means is if we start beating a pulse, the quarter notes are going to be held down for one beat, but the minimum is going to be held down for twice as long, and the whole note is going to be held down for four times as long as a quarter note. So as you can see here on this chart, you can fit in four quarter notes into one whole note and two half notes into one whole note. Now that we understand the pulse and note values, let's have a look at a few examples and exercises you can work on. So in the first exercise, it's extremely simple. All you have to do is play quarter notes or crotchets after each other at a very steady pace or a very steady pulse. And every time you hold down a crotchet, you'll say one. So like one, 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 one. Now these exercises can be played in a variety of ways. You can clap the notes, you can tap them on your piano lid, or you can pick a random note, maybe middle C, and just play that along. So I'm going to close the lid just for now to be able to tap out the rhythm. So the first exercise goes like this. One, 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 one. One, 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 one. 
It's very easy. It's basically just counting because each note is as long as one beat in the pulse. So that was our crotchets. The second one is going to be the minims or half notes. Now this time we have to hold down the tap for two beats long. So it's going to go like this. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So you can instantly see how much longer it is compared to the quarter note or crotchet. The last one is going to be the whole note or semi brief exercise three. And here we have to hold it down for four beats. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. For now, just count the number of the beats for each note value. Later on, we're going to introduce time signatures and change the counting a little bit. But in this lesson, just stick to counting the amount of beats the note value is. Let's have a look at now at example number four. And number four is going to mix quarter notes and half notes. So I'm going to play it once by tapping and then I'm going to play an accompaniment and you can join in either by tapping or playing the middle C on your keyboard. One, 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 two, one, 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 two. Now let's play it with the accompaniment. I'm going to count in four beats just so you can get ready for the pulse. And you can count one, 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 two, one, 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 two. So here we go. One, two, three, four. Now I'm going to play in the middle C so you can hear how it sounds with the accompaniment. One, two, three, four. One, 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 two. One, 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 two. And that was example number four. Now let's have a look at exercise number five, which is going to mix now the same two notes in a different pattern. And let me close it again so I tap it out. So here we go. One, two, one, 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 two. Again, I'm going to count in four counts, pick the middle C or clap, and come in after the fourth count. One, two, three, four. And now I'm going to do the same again, but playing the middle C so you can hear how it should sound. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, 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 two. Example six combines crotchets, menims, and semi briefs So quarter notes, half notes, and whole notes. Let me close the lid again. So it's going to sound like this tapping. One, one, two, one, one, two, three, four. So once again, one, one, two, one, one, two, three, four. Now let's play it with the accompaniment track again. I'm going to count in four, pick the middle C or clap and come in. One, two, three, four. Now again, I'm going to play the middle C so you can hear how it should sound. One, two, three, four. One, one, two, one, one, two, three, four. And again, one, one, two, one, one, two, three, four. You can practice these exercises without reading any actual pitches. You can pick a single note on your piano or clap them. If you enjoy this lesson, make sure to check out the premium version of this course, which is going to include a free method book, lots of filmed video tutorials for sight reading exercises, technical exercises, performance pieces, and best of all, you're going to get personal feedback from me to make sure your progress is as smooth and efficient as it can get.